Logan, this specific game, if we're looking at it, what went wrong for you guys? A um, couple bad bad plays, bad, bad reads by us, but I think, uh, you know, I can't fault our team on our effort. We're trying, you know, we're, we're working hard. I just think that, uh, you know, sometimes our mental mistakes is what cost us, and, you know, that's, that's what it was tonight. You know, we fought right to the end, but I think uh, we still got to sharpen up on those. You're with these guys day in and day out. What are some of the feelings or, that you're seeing from the guys during this stretch, or how do you feel that they're handling this tough time? Yeah, it's tough. It's tough for sure. Um, you know, every team goes through it, but, uh, you know, it sucks that it's late in the year, but like I said earlier, it's better to happen now than in, in a month's time. But I think, uh, you know, for us, it's, it's to lead by example as the older guys and try to get this thing back on track. But, um, again, it's just make sure we're ready every night. Um, all, all we can do right now is just work as hard as we can, and once they start coming, you know, it's going to come. But I think uh, for us right now, it's just, you know, make sure that we stay in it mentally and not try to get discouraged from from the results. I mean, so, some of these games, obviously, we're not playing the best, but I think uh, they're, they're, I can never say anything bad about our work ethic. A couple games this weekend against divisional rivals. Do you feel like that could be the time to end this? Like, you've seen Belleville a lot, so do you feel like because you know them, things could kind of take a turn? Yeah, I mean, they're going to be tight games. The teams out, you know, we're playing. We got uh, these guys are pushing for playoffs, Belleville. So they're going to, you know, these points are they're, they mean a lot to those guys. So, and uh, you know, just from knowing them, they're going to they're going to come and you know and fight right to the end. So um, they're going to be two tough games, but uh, obviously we look forward to playing those ones. They're always fun to play. Um, so we'll be ready to go on the weekend. Do you feel like during this streak, it's been a little bit tougher trying to f getting to find the back of the net? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean. I, you could count on one hand how many five-on-five five goals we've had in the last 10 games. So obviously that happens in a season. And again, it's the mental side of it that you have to try to stay up and you know keep doing the little things. Don't try to change your game just because you're not scoring. Or um, for me, it's still just shoot the puck. And you know, like for for other guys, it's still do the little things right. And um, they're going to come. I mean, if you're getting chances, it's still a good sign. But I think. Uh, you know, I obviously I want to score more goals and you know I want to help out more, but uh, sometimes you know they, they, their goalie has a say in what what happens too. Greg, what were some key reasons that you guys couldn't pull out the win in this specific game? Well, we talked about it before the game. Uh, our starts lately, obviously going down too early, um, you, you know, put, puts us in a real tough spot, especially against a team that's one of the, the better teams in the American League. So. When, when you get to a position where you're just chasing it for 60 minutes by getting down early, um, the feel of the game never really feels right, uh, and it makes it hard uh, for us to, to find our footing and, and play the full 60 that we want. Uh, I do feel as though the, the team had pushed back. Like, you know, we kept chipping away and finding ways to um, regain momentum, keep some momentum. Um, and, and I felt good going into the third that, uh, you know, it was a one-goal game at the time and uh, a chance to get back in it. As a group, how do you guys manage the frustration around the losing streak and just manage the feelings of what you guys are going through? <laughs> yeah, uh, when you're going through things like this in a season, you go through uh, waves of turbulence, uh, basically, of, of what your emotions are. There's, there's anger, there's frustration. Um, you know, as a, as, a, as a coaching staff, you know, we, we try different methods to get different responses out of the group. And I, I can tell the, the group's very frustrated. We're very frustrated. Uh, you know, there's no excuses. We need to win hockey games. Uh, we, need to, we need to play better. Uh, but I think at this point, we need to also find the fun, and we need to find the enjoyment in what we're doing and uh, clear our heads a little bit and, and, and be ready for the next rep. Knowing that you've got two against Belleville coming up, divisional rivals, how will you prepare knowing that they are chasing every point right now? Yeah, uh, it's a tight division, so uh, anyone we see in our division, we know that they're going to be really hungry for those points. Uh, they've always played us hard regardless of where the season's at and, and what the standings are. Um, and now with the extra motivation, it's going to be a really tough opponent, which is a good challenge for us because uh, the best way to get through uh, the, the losing streak that we're in is to go through a tough opponent, beat a tough opponent that's uh, desperate for points and for us to build confidence off of that. Do you feel like the lack of goal scoring has been more of maybe just the goaltender on the other side being able to make those saves, or do you think there's more to maybe not being able to score? Uh, certainly the goaltender always has a say in the outcome of uh, ch chances. <laughs> um, we can do a better job. Uh, these last couple games before today, uh, we didn't have a consistent net front. and. 
Uh, as any coach knows in the history of hockey, taking away the goalie's eyes is the best way to creating offense. So we focused on that today and, and there were opportunities for us to get into the middle of the rink, find the F3. We just weren't able to get in there enough to create enough chances, but uh, we're chipping away at it and we're, and we're finding ways to get inside and create more offense.